Hey. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I have a special guest here on my channel, Courtney K. You guys Hi. know I talk about her all the time. She's amazing. I so are you. So, um, go check out her channel, mm -hmm. but I'll have her link below, obviously. And a well, I never remember above, so I don't even know why I say that. <laughs> I actually, I started using those within the last year, and it's actually been pretty I've helpful. used it, like, once or twice, but I feel like it's just an extra step. It is an extra step. I always have to remind myself to do it before I post. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're talking YouTube talk right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, today's video, we wanted to do, like, a wish list, like, anti-haul, uh, go through tread mood, and just, like, talk about makeup pretty much on this channel. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to put the uh, picture um, on the screen. Uh, and I think, um, I think they're typically called, like, Will I Buy It or something, and Samantha March, I know she's been doing them on her channel, and I thought they're really cool, and I thought it would be a cool idea for us yeah. to do it, since we both love looking at new releases. Oh I tag her, she between tags me, like, her everything. and Canoe, I just, everybody's name begins with a C, actually. Oh, easy, yeah. Like, Chic Geek Makeup is here on YouTube, too, and oh, yeah. I tag her because yeah, I'm really friends sweet. with her, but it's just so funny how everybody is a C. Just tag all the Cs. Yeah, it's, like, so easy. Hold on, I feel like I'm, like, there we go. I don't want all right, so we're gonna look on trend mood right now. Obviously, all know what trend mood is. Yeah, we'll we'll put, put it in the description mood, box, yes. but I'm sure you guys have heard of her. Um, so do we want to start from the top? Yeah, let's we'll start from the top. So first, we have the new Kylie palette, and I think it's their holiday collection palette. I can't really see the name of it. Can you? Uh, no, but it just says black packaging. So it's the one that comes in the black packaging. And the only color that looks cool to both of us, I think, is that green shadow oh, or the green gold yeah, or whatever. That green one, I like that metallic purple, and then that duochrome, like, blue-brown one. I think those look really pretty. It actually looks like a pretty, like, cohesive palette for the yeah. most part, which is something that is unlike Kylie. any of her other palettes, I feel like. And I feel like her palettes are hit or miss. I've never actually tried her cosmetics line, but this is actually something I'm, depending on how much it is, if it's, like... 45 bucks I might pick it up just to try her stuff because I've never oh but isn't that like expensive I feel like 45 dollars for that it is yeah. yeah but I feel like I don't know I've just never tried her stuff I've kind of been wanting to but I feel like her lip kits are like the exact same as ColourPop I don't know I'm like considering this one but it also it's is so like pretty. lots of pops of color that like a lot of the other colors are the same yeah and other palettes that she has and like probably that we both have I've actually <laughs> tried um one of her holiday palettes from, like, oh. 2016 or mm -hmm. 17, I forget. It was, like, the green one. It was awful. Like, I was, like, mm -hmm. blending, and it was, like, uh. so patchy, and I was like, what the heck? Uh, but I'm sure yeah. the formula, like, like, way improved since then, yeah. so. I still keep hearing that it's hit or miss. Like, I knew her new palette. I just saw Nikki Tutorial's video, and they weren't like super pigmented yeah. so I don't know I wish you could like swatch Kylie like, if it was like sold at Sephora or Ulta Ulta would be nice that'd be nice yeah but this is a maybe for me <laughs> I don't know just the colors look really pretty it's cool it depends like how much it would be for definitely me. Like, yeah. I would have to look into that <laughs> um, uh next up is something that's already on sale right is that if okay so this is the oh uh, this looks like the 35 O palette so it's just on sale <laughs> yeah pass I hate that away to kind of so <laughs> I have so many warm eyeshadows well especially you have the Jaclyn Hill so uh, the Jaclyn Hill like, palette so most of those colors are in that there, palette yeah let's look at um what's this one is this the oh this is Kathleen's new collection oh yeah that's so the pretty. Zodiac Wait, collection like, swipe through that because that's like oh yeah like okay that eyeshadow palette looks really pretty it, it does but like I feel like at first glance like it doesn't look that exciting but then you see the swatches and it's yeah. like yeah Different. I just watched her video yesterday of all the swatches. Oh, you did? Yeah, and it did look really pretty. This is something I might consider. I just, I'm so picky with what palettes I actually keep in my collection, so I, like, I say I, like, want something, but I might not purchase it. <laughs> but this one does look really cool. I think the colors are, like, a little, they're a little bit different. They're more different than what ColourPop usually puts out. I so. agree. The only thing that I'm worried about, actually, now is that how many looks are you going to be able to create with that? Because it looks You're like right. there's only two mattes. In there, yeah. and the rest are shimmer. Yeah, I like that there's a warm tone and a cool tone brown. True. And then that berry's really pretty. But like, I don't know. I, if it comes to Ulta, and I could, like, swatch it, that'd be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, the Juvia's Plates, did you... Oh, my I God. I did. This isn't a palette that I don't know if I'd buy, just because... Like, I like my colorful eyeshadows, but I feel like that yellow's, like, really, really bright for it's me. It's so bright, and I... But I feel like that would be, like, so good. It would be really cool in the crease. Yeah. But I'm just excited that Juvia's Plates is coming to Ulta. Yeah. 
That's what I'm too. excited about. <laughs> and especially they're coming out with the blushes now, and yeah. I want to be all over that. Like, right I just, now. I really want to try their shadows. I just watched the Melissa's palettes mm -hmm. yesterday, and they are so mm -hmm. good. They have a lot of different, like, finishes. Like, those Which, dry yeah. ones with the sparkle in it that you were like... Yeah. They, like, felt dry with their... <laughs> yeah. They felt really... Pig or they looked really pigmented. Yeah. And the shimmers, they seem really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, let's... Let me find something that we don't want. Oh, what about that Too Faced one? The big Oh, the big Too Faced one. palette. So, it looks like it's, like, their birthday palette, and it has... Their shadows that were like their older shadows, mm -hmm. I think. Um, it looks like from 1998 and then to 2018. And it's kind of a cool concept. I think it's like really big. Yeah, it looks really long. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that was in my mind too. So I'm glad I went there. <laughs> anyway, but, yeah. I personally I feel like a lot of the shades look the same, even though they're from like different years. But I think it is cool. Like the the colors that they do have in this palette are really pretty. I love I like the different. packaging on it. I think the it's packaging so is really pretty. Cool. And if you swipe, I love those lipsticks. Oh, I didn't even see those. They are like glitter. I don't understand. Like, oh, that packaging the, though. When you put the cap on it, it's all glitter. It's like that's my aesthetic. It's glitter. Yeah, <laughs> I love glitter. Oh, what else here? What, uh, oh, oh the the Crayola yeah, that's stuff. Exactly what I was we were say. both thinking that. So there are these Crayola concealers, highlighter concealers. So Is that they, really what they are? Hi what? No. What does that even mean? It's like, supposed it's to be color correcting. Oh, um, maybe. But like that's like literally hot pink, hot yellow, like lime green. I'm very confused by this product. So I guess we'd have to see Pass. reviews, but this is something that I would never buy. But I would like to watch videos on it yeah. just to see if they're actually that color. <laughs> Plus, I've heard the Crayola stuff, like, the quality wasn't that good. Yeah. That's, like, kid makeup or whatever. That's what it looks like, yeah. <laughs> uh, what else here? Oh, that Latasha Delola, like, purple I was actually palette. looking at this. I think I would want to have to swatch it in mm. store first because the colors look really dark, but I did see swatches of it and it looked really pretty. Yeah. But there are also like two browns in there. And for like $25 for those really tiny three shades, I don't know. But, but I also have a Sephora gift card. I do feel like you have like a crease color, you have a shimmer color, and yeah. you have like an outer quarter color. So at least it's you like You can definitely cohesive. create a good look. Yeah. Look at uh, that like shimmery blue. I know, it looks insane. I love that kind of color. Oh, Huda Beauty is coming out with a new lip product. Did you see that? I didn't see that. Let's see. It's, uh, wake up. Up. Oh. Way down. How <laughs> <laughs> she's here? Uh, well, it's this one. Um, Demi Matte. I guess it's like a Oh, it's like a lip cream. $20 kinda. each. Is it? Yeah, there you okay. go. Yeah, the colors are really pretty. And I do like um, Huda's lip products. I have two, but her eyeshadows, I just. <laughs> I just, I, we were just talking about this. Like, I can't, I can't do any yeah. more of those. <laughs> I think I've swatched them in Sephora, and I thought they were just kind of lackluster. But I feel like some of those testers in store, like, they're kind of dried out. Yeah, so I don't absolutely. know. <laughs> like, it's hard to do it in store, for sure. Yeah. Wait, what's this? Oh, those are the Laura Lee new palettes. Oh. So there's a bright palette, and then there's a more neutral palette. That's kind of cool. And they're $19 each, so I feel like that's not bad. I feel like I made it, might have seen a preview of this um, in our boxy charm for like I have heard that they might include right? that for next next one. So that's pretty cool. Or the one after that, or something yeah. like in the future. Like that would be kind of cool to get. But I don't think I would go out of my way. I don't even follow Laura Lee. So I don't follow her either. But I heard her eyeshadow formula is really good. Yeah. I think like I think they're both really pretty. The brights, I just have other bright shadows, and I like think of like panning them, mm -hmm. and I'm like I could never probably. F fully pan like a colorful palette so mm -hmm. that's how I kind of think of it when I'm buying a palette but the neutral one's really pretty but again I have so many neutrals this one looks like the Kylie one that we were on oh yeah it's it like kind of got that same I love those like greeny golds yeah they're beautiful I'm like all about that yes <laughs> um what else I feel like we're so far down already, I know and I thought there was like already what's, like new um, stuff what's this one the one next to it oh yeah I was looking at that I didn't know what that oh, was oh this is OPV Beauty, the Rainbow Splash Palette. Never heard of that. I do want to try more indie brands this year. Yes. Yeah. The next one we're looking at is this Shop September Rose. I think that's the brand. It says the Slush Eyeshadow Palette, and this is really pretty. I wonder if this is at um, Riley Rose. You know that store? Um, there's actually one that's like 20 minutes away, but... Um, it's got like Violet Voss, 
Morphe, like all the indie brands oh, in really? one store. It's I need like to go there then. Cool. Yeah, next time you're yeah. here, we'll have to go there we because um, I know we want to plan like so much. a big shopping day. <laughs> yeah. <with> just, <laughs> I'll have to come up for a weekend because yeah. it was just, I think we, we were trying to cram like a lot. Everything in, in yeah. one. We can definitely plan another weekend though. Yeah, definitely. I need to like request another weekend off. Um, but. But yeah, these look really pretty. It is a rainbow palette, which I think that is... That purple is what yeah. I'm looking at. I'm just like, I like that blue. That, oh. that like oh, teal. Yeah. But that's like the one in the all Oh all yeah, I have so many. <laughs> I know, I have so many teals that I like. The teal like always draws me in. Yeah. Because I always like to put on my lower lash line if I am doing a neutral look or on the lid. So that one's really pretty. I'm not sure if I'd buy it. Actually, it's cruelty free and vegan. So oh, yeah. that's actually really nice. That's good to know. Yeah, I don't feel like a lot of brands are vegan, but it's... Like, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I wish more were. Yeah, I wish more were cruelty-free, but it's even cooler, I feel like, that they're vegan. So, that's awesome. What about if you go back up to the top, like, the third row down, the Ofra? Oh, the Ofra palette? Yeah. I'm actually surprised about the price of this one, because I feel like Ofra's had, like, big collections that are, like, $80, and yeah. this is 50 Like, that big black one is, like, 60 Yeah. Like, three or like, eight or... I, and I, I know they price their things so you can use the codes, like, the affiliate oh, true, codes with yeah. them, but I feel like this is actually a decent price considering what they were before. But have you ever tried an Ofra highlighter? No. I kind of want to, because they seem really, like, blinding and, like, super highlighted. And, like, cool oh, the swatches. Everything. And I feel like you could maybe pop them out. Yeah, it looks like that, you can. like, dip thing going on, whatever... Whatever that's yeah. called, like a, a dip thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's dip what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> yeah, but that looks really pretty. Yeah, I'm not sure if I buy it because I don't really like to buy highlighter palettes, but I do want to try out no for highlighter in the yeah. future. Once I finish another highlighter. Same. Oh, the Jaclyn Hill Vault. Oh yeah, Did we the already vault. Talk about that? No, I don't think we talked about that one okay. yet. Okay. I think we talked about like glance in inner at, get ready with us. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, this one. That Armed and Gorgeous one's really pretty. Oh my god. So, I actually like that they kind of, like, called the palettes back and, like, they tossed their stash because if they weren't going to be consistent, that's not fair to the customer. Mm -hmm. And I think Morphe did, like, kind of waste, like, millions of dollars. So, I think it's good that they, like, want the quality to be better for the customer. Yeah. So, I actually don't have a problem with them, like, doing that. I know a lot of people did. And I think the price is, like... The price is very fair. Really good. Yeah. 15 each. Like $15 each for... And eyeshadows, I feel like that's really good. And I personally love the quality of my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette that yeah. I have. It like they feel like cream sometimes, like when you swatch the shimmers and then the mattes blend out so well too. So I'm like, this yeah, is something. It's at Ulta. And it, oh, it is at Ulta. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Okay, it's so yeah. At Ulta, August fourteenth. If it's at Ulta, I'm probably good. definitely gonna swatch them. I'm not sure if yeah. I'll pick one up, but I'm looking at the Armed and Gorgeous palette. It's like. I don't it's know, it's really like pretty. bright, but like neutral, but yes. like smoky. It's like everything. Yes. I feel like. I love that army green and then these like gold tones. The golds are like. I really love gold, you guys know. Yeah. <laughs> Blender foundation. Oh, yeah, that foundation was range. Was that is... the one with the shade, shade range? That's like, that was weird. like awful. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm sure you guys have heard about it, but the shade range on the new Beauty Blender foundation was garbage. <laughs> it was like tart shape tape, but there was like literally two rows. Wait a minute. They're, like, all the same. There was, like, two and a half rows that were literally the same shade, and they had, like, four deep shades and an orange, like, Donald Trump shade. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Uh, but they, maybe they'll expand eventually. Yeah. Oh, this! Oh, what pa That was the This is the L'Oreal. Oh, yeah. It looks like the Mac Patrick Star, though. That packaging is so pretty. I love this I like just looking at it. Like, oh my god, like, those eyeshadows and lip glosses and... Everything I would totally be all about this. I wonder if they'll be like in actual like drugstores other than like Ulta, or if it's just on their website. Does it say? Uh, oh, it's a collab. Of course, it's a collab <laughs> with somebody that I have no idea who it is. Um, will be available August all other stores, other stores in the U.S. So okay, that's maybe. cool. Maybe drugstore. I feel like my Walmarts and, like, my drugstores around me, like, literally, they have, like, none of the, like, more updated drugstore collections. Agree. It takes it forever to, like, get to my drugstores. <laughs> yeah, right? My Ulta is okay. Yeah. It has Morphe and ColourPop now, which is nice, but it I wish is. they would carry Beach Cosmetics. My one year oh. at work does, but... Mine does, yeah, yeah, except it doesn't carry the Weekend Festival palette, so... Oh, yeah. That one's that one down. <laughs> um, but that's probably about it, right? Yeah, I, mean, I think that's... That should be good. I think we went yeah. through a lot of the page. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, like, I know, this chatty, is a lot of fun. like, new release 
situation, whatever I'm gonna call yeah. this. I don't know. Yet. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, Courtney, for being here. Of course, thanks for having me over. It was so much fun, and uh, I'll see you guys in my next video, I guess. All right, bye. bye.